Hi guys, welcome back to Sweetie Pie Pets. As many of you know, I am a USDA licensed breeder and I have been breeding Chihuahuas for over 20 years now. And in that time, I have witnessed so many families find joy and happiness when they bring a little Sweetie Pie into their lives and their homes. I usually remain in contact with most of those families. They send me updates and pictures and videos. I even get Christmas cards from them. They ask me questions and they ask for help or my thoughts on concerns that come up as their Sweetie Pies grow. And I appreciate that. I've even been invited into their homes. We've spent weekends with some of the families. They've taken us out to dinner and we've had amazing experiences meeting all of these wonderful families. I feel truly blessed. And I share many of these experiences on my YouTube channel. It's been a lot of fun. It's honestly been the experience of a lifetime for my husband and myself. And now my little YouTube channel has hit a milestone. I'm very proud of it. We are at 20,000 subs, yay! from heaven. <laughs> We've been plugging away on this channel for about five years now. And all along, I have always thought, for whatever reason, that 20,000 subs would be my ultimate goal. At 20,000, I feel a sense of legitimacy, and now I'm here. I've got a small, committed group of viewers who have formed this community with me, and we like to talk and share and interact every week. And I want to thank you guys sincerely from the bottom of my heart. And I want you to stay tuned to the very end of this video because I'm going to ask you all to do me a favor that I'm hoping will help out my channel. Anyway, I decided to look back over the years and pick out some of the cutest puppies that I've had in my program. I mean, they're all so cute, but I just want to show you guys these. Now, I understand that cuteness is subjective, so you may not be in total agreement, and that's fine. You can leave your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll try to respond to everyone. So here we go. My picks for the cutest sweetie pies of all time. Oh my gosh, look at Jimmy, so cute. Pair this audio with the last video of your pet. Jim is Sasha and Ben's puppy, and oh my gosh, do they make cute puppies. This is Leo, and he is Myla and Wesley's puppy, and I think he's so cute, I can't stand his little nose. And oh my gosh, Pugsley. Now this is another one from Sasha, but this time he has a different daddy. He has daddy Bruce, and look at his coloring and his little eyebrows and his little nose. Oh my gosh, I just can't stand it. This is Sheldon, and oh my gosh, look at how cute he is. I just cannot stand his little face, how close together his eyes and his little teeny nose are. I learned a new word, by the way, it's called neoteny, and it's when you have features that are very childlike, like a baby, a human baby has eyes and a nose and everything's really close together, and I think that puppies that are neotenous are so cute, just like Sheldon. Sheldon is from Sabrina and Ben. Next we have Moana who is now named Cosette, or Cozy for short. And she lives in Orlando, and she is so cute. And I got to visit her uh, a couple months ago, and she's so tiny and so precious and so sweet. I just love little Cozy. Now this is Penny, and Penny's actually Sheldon's sister. Imagine that, we had Leonard too in the same litter. So that's from Sabrina and Ben, and I just can't stand it, I wanna pinch her little cheeks. Oh my gosh look at this picture of Margot when she was a little tiny puppy can you even believe that it doesn't even look real it looks like a stuffed animal now Margot actually is from Raina who is my grandma doggy I still have Raina and she helps me raise all my puppies she's such a wonderful mommy um, but she never really had very many puppies of her own I think she only had Margot and maybe one other puppy and I kept Margot and Margot's in a lot of my videos so I'm sure you guys all know who Margot is but look how cute she was as a little baby and of course I can't forget about little Ben. Look at him. He is so precious and he loves to dress up in all kinds of clothes. He's such a good sport. He just goes along with whatever I put on him and he loves it. Like he, he peacocks for me. He actually stands there and likes to have photos taken. He even has his own Instagram called Ben Baby Doll Chihuahua if you guys want to follow him over there. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't heard about Ben, he is actually sort of a little miracle puppy because he had a neck injury when he was very young and he was almost completely paralyzed. And I had to have him treated at a specialist, a neurologist, who was so wonderful. And he put him in a brace and did all of these things. He didn't even have to do surgery and he walks just fine now. So he's such a miracle and I love my Ben. This is Hamster and some of you might re recognize Hamster from the photo that's hanging on my wall behind me. Right there, it's backwards. Right there, that's Hamster. 
<laughs> and I did get an updated picture of Hamster a while back, but his new owners asked me not to share the picture because they're very private. Oops, I made a face. That's okay. <laughs> this is Jack, and look at Jack, again with the eyebrows. I freaking love the eyebrows. And he was another one of those that was such a good sport. He would put on clothes, and he was totally happy. Now, Jack comes from Amico, and Amico just retired. And I was so lucky to be able to give Amico to my mother-in-law, who's turning 90 years old in March. Funny thing is, my mother-in-law had Amico's grandmother, and she had her all the way up until the end of her life. And she died a couple of years ago, and my mother-in-law has been missing a little sweetie pie. And all of this kind of happened right then. Amico retired, and I had to find a new home, so it was perfect for her to go to live with my mother-in-law. And Jack actually lives with an actress, but I can't say who. This is little Rocky who is renamed Ico and he lives in Solvain and we did a video about his family a few months ago, maybe about a year ago. Um, his family is amazing. They've invited us to stay at their house and it's so much fun and they're such great people and I love going and visiting little Ico. He might even be a daddy in our breeding program one day. And finally we have little Isabella. <gasps> did you pee on the floor? Did you pee on the floor? This is one of my top producing videos and it got, I don't even know how many millions of views it got, but it is so cute. How can you stand that little teeny, I mean, she was just so tiny, the tiniest little thing. I think she was charting to reach like maybe three pounds, but when they're puppies, I mean, they're like one pound. It's like a one pound dog. It's all of that doggy goodness wrapped up in a little tiny one pound package. So cute, I can't stand it. Okay, and that takes us to my request. So if you've stuck around this long, I know that you must be one of our most devoted Sweetie Pie Pet family members. And YouTube is constantly changing their algorithm and I've watched them change how they promote some videos over others. And there has been some recent move away from small content creators like myself. I think there's a lot of competition from apps like TikTok and others. And YouTube feels the pressure. They realize they make money from the tried and true large content creators but they're also trying to get into the short form video market. So you'll see YouTube now has their shorts, which is a vertical format. And I do post some of my videos in that format sometimes. So I have started creating more of the shorts lately because that's where YouTube is headed. But I also realized that as far as revenue is concerned, it's still all about making the standard traditional YouTube medium and long form videos. So I still have to do my regular videos if I wanna make any money off of all this work that we do. So here's my request. I would like to re-engineer the algorithm for my channel and if you could please just take a moment to physically search YouTube for Sweetie Pie Pets, actually type in the name, and then when my channel pops up, please click on the channel and then click on several different videos from my channel. You can comment, you can like, you can do any of those things. If I could get 10 or 20 of you guys to do that, it should push the algorithm to rebuild in my favor. And that would be really, really amazing. If I got even more, like 50 or maybe even 100, oh my gosh, it would help to put my channel higher up in the YouTube algorithm. And it would help them to promote in the next up category or when people search for certain videos about Chihuahuas. So I wanna thank all of you again. I love you, I love what I do. I love bringing joy to all these Sweetie Pie families who adopt from me. And it really has been one of the greatest experiences of my life. Thanks so much for watching and for sticking around with Sweetie Pie Pets all the way up to 20,000 subs and hopefully more. Love you guys. Mwah. See you next time on Sweetie Pie Pets. Bye-bye.